Welcome back to Redneck and Had on Less. Today we've got a battle box. This battle box has some weight to it. Kind of excited to see why it weighs so much. I haven't weighed it, but it weighs at least five pounds, if not seven, maybe eight. So let's open it. Oh. It's okay to be redneck. You can get your own redneck shirt. Link down in the description to my t-shirt. Just help support the channel getting some of these uh, subscription boxes and here we go this month's battle box is for the month of September mission brief 91 one thing about battle box they put a really cool um, little pamphlet uh, in here that explains everything in, in the box um, and what is in the the other boxes there's like four tier of boxes there's the basic and the basic starts at around 35 dollars i think then there's the advanced box which is what this box is this is tier number two it's about 60 bucks then there's the pro box i'm not for sure what the pro box costs because i've never gotten it and then there's the pro plus box so the higher up you go the more stuff you they add to your box now this month's box is looks like there's some pretty cool stuff in this this may be one of my favorite battle boxes in a while and there's uh, one one two three four there's four items in the basic box this month and one extra item to make it the advanced box the first item coming out is, it's a spork. It's a peel, refuel, titanium spork. It comes in a little, um, little, uh, I don't know, little bag here. I guess to put it in your uh, backpack, camping gear, go bag. And what I do like about this, this is it nothing fancy it does have a place to hang it so if you wanted to hang it you know put a little string on it to where you could hang it up but you could actually eat soup with it i mean there's there's a bowl to it and it's it's long handled so if you was messing with something hot and you wanted to keep your hands away from it this would work um you can see the fork part of it this is a pretty cool fork and like i said this is from uh, peak refuel i guess is the name of the company titanium it's lightweight it almost feels like plastic it's so light but it's titanium put that back in the bag that spork is about a ten dollar item and that's probably probably about right um if you used to buy titanium spork spork fork um in a survival store that's probably what you pay second thing coming out and this is from the same company peak refuel this is a uh, biscuits and gravy premium freeze-dried buttermilk biscuits cookie or cooked sausage cooked sausage crumbles and peppered country style gravy 34 grams of protein per pouch two serving you just add water prepare and eat in pouch um that's where this uh, sport would come in good it'd be great for eating these and there's the, I've 
never heard of this company, this brand. That's something about these uh, subscription boxes. Sometimes you get stuff that you've never even heard of. Maybe it's in a new company. But Peak Refuel. And that is about a $14 item coming out of the box. Uh, the next thing coming out is from a uh, Gear Aid. It's a fast acting cooling towel. It's a cooling towel. Looks like it comes with a bag to put it in, maybe. Hmm. Open this up. cardboard off of it. Stay cooler longer. Gear aid. This is from Gear aid. It does come with uh, a little pouch to put it in I guess when you're done and it, it does have a net on the front of it so when you put the cooling towel in here it will gonna dry out pretty good size cooling towel it does come with a I guess you can hang it on something to dry it but it's got a place here to write your name that's kind of nice that way if you're at a ball game whatever you lose it somebody knows it it's yours you just saturate this in water wring it out and it's, this is pretty good size. I mean, it's not a little bitty small one. It's big. I like it. This is about an $18 item. So, from Gear Aid. The last thing in the basic box. It's about a $20 item. It's from Humvee. This is actually kind of cool. It's a little camping survival folding shovel. Um, got a nail puller on it and a saw tooth. Let's see if I can get this out. comes with a pouch. This folds up pretty small. See here, about, about as tall as my head. It's got a belt loop on it. Here on the back. Velcro closer. Take this out of the bag. It's got a nylon handle. So you could use this as this way to go to tighten. You could use this like this to uh, kind of like a hoe. There's a nail puller, by the way. It's right there in the tip of the blade. Sawtooth down one side. Or you can use it like this. It's it's a short shovel. I mean, you carry that in your backpack. If you, uh, you keep this in your trunk, you keep it underneath the back seat of the pickup. Never know, digging up ginseng or something like that. This would be great. Lightweight, and it all folds up. That's how thin it's folds up. That's pretty cool. And that is everything in the basic box. So we had a $10 item, a $14 item, 
an $18 item and then a $20 item. Now, the advanced box, which is the next box up, this is from Outdoor Element. It's about a $40 item. Whether you're an avid hunter, a survivalist, having a proper caping blade to aid in cleaning game is paramount. The Phoenix Feather is made from ultra strong D2 steel that holds an edge incredibly well and at the same time is relatively easy to sharpen. Um, and it looks like it's got a, little, a few other features to it. This box is tape two. Um, it has a quarter inch hex driver and it's got a sc screwdriver tip. It's a caping blade, 1.4 ounces and it is full tang. It's got a Kydex uh, sheath to it. Show you the box of it. There, that's company outdoor element. There's what I was um, reading on the back, but it's uh, six inches overall length from tip to the back end of the handle. There's the knife, it does have a belt clip on it. Or you could probably take and put paracord on the uh, sheath here. You know, hang it however you want to do it. Fits nice and tight in that sheath. Maybe pulling it in and out a little bit, it'll come out a little easier, but it's, it's not going to fall out of that by itself. There's the blade. Says it's a caping blade. I would have thought a caping blade would have a little more of a curve to it. The screwdriver is actually the end. It's gonna be hard to see here, but it's right there. And then of course your quarter inch hex right there. I'm guessing you put screwdriver tips in to where you can use this as a handle for it. Um, does have two finger notches right here, so your fingers sit in there like that, and it's got a, a place to put your thumb for it, just more traction. And that's a pretty cool little knife from uh, Outdoor Element. That's a forty dollar knife. So all in all, this is a, a pretty cool box. Um, nothing that I haven't gotten before, except for I think we've had breakfast, freeze-dried breakfast stuff in there before. But you can never have too many, you know, too much of uh, freeze-dried food. Now, if you'd have gotten a pro box, you would have got a battle box limited edition razor. Patriot Series Electronic Earmuffs, and they're um, made by Walker, uh, the Razor um, Electronic Earmuffs for shooting, and it does have battle box across the band, but, and that's a 80, it says $80, to me that's a little high for, uh, I don't think, I've got the, uh, I got a pair of the razors, and I don't think they cost that much. But there's the razor right there, head head earmuffs. Now, if you'd have gotten the uh, Pro Plus box, something else from Outdoor Element, which is the knife maker, they put something else in that box, and that's the Phoenix Talon. This here is the Phoenix Feather Knife. The Phoenix Talon, um, it's a hunting, it's a skinny knife. Uh, it has a compass, the handle comes apart. And inside the handle, it's a full tang knife, 
inside the handle there's a little bitty compass and it looks like a little little reel of a uh, fish's string and there's a fish hook in there but um uh, i'll show you what this knife looks like it, it says it's a hundred about 120 dollar knife you can see in the handle you take the screws out inside the handle is uh the survival stuff there anyway if you haven't already checked out the the tv show for uh the guys at battle box it's called southern survival and it's on netflix it's a pretty cool show if you like watching uh people test out gear and they uh it's kind of comical watching them but it's actually kind of cool because you see a lot of stuff on that show that they test out that you've never seen in the store before most of it's new some of it ain't but a lot of it is anyway check out my shirts links down in the description get you one to get you get your girlfriend one whatever i'm redneck in a hat we'll catch you guys on the next video make sure you hit that subscribe button